Miami, South Beach, known for its beautiful beaches and for its beautiful people. It's also known as a pretty big hub for boating. Mostly power yachts, but there are quite a few sailboaters as well. February is boat show time in Miami, and we are going to take you to the 2023 Miami International Boat Show. All right, we are at the Miami International Boat Show. Woo! So this is the convention center. We'll start here, and this is kind of like where all the accessories and the dinghies and stuff like that are. A lot of power boats. Yeah, like consoles. center consoles and stuff. So there's actually three sections. There's this section, then there's the sailboat section, then there's the power boat section. And then there's the super yachts. Super yachts. So we're not going to do the super yachts, but we'll show you the other sections. Maybe not the power boats, but we'll go to the sailboats tomorrow. Thank you, sir. Ready? I don't think we're buying super yachts. Yeah, no. This is the current creator booth, and this is Kirsten. She runs the whole show. So, Hi, you're so uh, what tell us about it? What is it? Yeah, so basically, I've been in digital marketing within the marine industry, and I've worked with so many different brands within different marine spaces, and nobody understood the value of creators and influencers. Like, I was begging my clients to like sign an influencer program, yet they're going to spend like six figures with a magazine. Right. It didn't make any sense. So, and it's a very like old fashioned industry. Like there's a lot, everyone like really values that in-person yeah. connection. So then I basically was like, all right, we have to bring them all in one room. So that started the current awards now three years ago. And now it's turned into the Bocho, partnering with Bocho, getting a booth for creators so they can come and host meet and greets, like kind of meet their fans, have a place to put their stuff like kind of keeping it casual but fun and but also like highlighting the people that make the industry so fun online and it was really cool this year because uh, we were nominated and won top boating channel Woo, so, yeah. uh, there's probably a link popping up here to the award ceremony if you want to watch it so it was pretty cool though very very humbling to win it so thank you for, thanks for putting us all on no thank you guys for creating such awesome content and like showing this industry online like yeah. that's what we need so yeah if you want to meet new and up and coming YouTubers and some pretty well established ones you can come by or Check any, out any of them. Check out social later on Instagram. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the link's popping up for all that stuff. So, all right, thanks for watching. Thank you guys. So, this is the main floor at the convention center. They have, you know, a bunch of center consoles and stuff. The main the power boats are at a different place, but then they have all the accessories and stuff like electronics and all that. So, we'll kind of take you through and talk to some of the vendors that I know. We've met, I don't know, half a dozen times or more, at least. At least. But uh, so, you know, I've been uh, using high field dinghies for what, two or three years now? Yeah, or more. And uh, so we're here. If you uh, wouldn't lose them. I, well, yeah, I lost one, sorry. <laughs> and then the other one went with the old boat. But uh, yeah, so we're getting a new one here. Excited about it. Yeah, I think yeah. you were going to look at the 360 again, right? Yeah. The Sport 360. Yeah, really, the Sport that was 360. The size and weight was just about yeah. right for that. We may, I mean, we, we'll kind of, we got to look at the specs on the boat. I think it's going to be, is a. Uh, yeah, but I mean, that's like the perfect boat with a ski pole in it. We're, we're doing like a sailing doodles model or something on that. Yeah, no, that's great because <laughs> I know you're doing a lot of tubing and yeah. a, lot of, a lot of water sports yeah. on that, so that was cool. Well, it's over here. Yeah, yeah, that's it right there, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, oh, this one. Yeah. yeah. 
So yeah, this is pretty much the exact boat we're gonna do. Uh, I like the ski pole on it and everything. That's that's the kind of cool part. No, it's uh, well, it's a rock star. It accommodates, you know, when you got all your friends and everything on board, you know, you guys can get anywhere you need to go. So yeah. it's, uh, you know, it's one of our more popular ones. So, well, uh, I mean, I just like how the sport models have, you know, these uh, cleats right here. Uh, so for tying up your boat on the on the dock or something like that, if it's or like we, we, we use it to tie along the side of our boat sometimes yeah. if we need to. It depends, you know. Some, it's just real convenient having that. Um, and then of course the aluminum construction is cool because I mean I've ripped a D ring out of a fiberglass boat before towing it and shattered some stuff. So I like this. Well, and I know you're really easy on your yeah. equipment too. So yeah. it's good for you. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, hey, well, good to see you again, man. Thanks, Thanks for having us over. Thanks. Thanks for stopping by. They're hosting. I mean, you, it's too late for you guys now, but they're hosting a happy hour this afternoon for us. So. Okay, Thanks. come. Go get be beer, here, man. Be here. Be here. Okay. <laughs>
maybe a little bit more risk, but they qualify for those that qualify for tax advantages that can be very substantial. And you can write off what I think you told me eighty percent of the value the first year. This year, yeah, yeah, up to eighty percent uh, uh, depreciation the first year, which uh, can can offer some very good tax. Uh, advantages. All right. Well, hey, thanks uh, thanks for the time and uh, Navigard asked you audience to come and you guys have been really great to work with. My pleasure. All Thank right. you. Sure. <laughs>now we are over here at the neil booth here and this is alex with uh, performance yacht sales so how are you doing thanks hey, for having us hey, over. so what is that you're uh, like the biggest dealer for neil what do you got here what is this this is a new neil 43 it's uh it's the only cruising trimaran in the world this is uh, the latest mark lombard design that features three uh cabins under the same roof so okay. I, I, you know when i when i've been on trimarans before i so I, was, I didn't I was really surprised when I walked on this in Annapolis the first time. Because you see a trimaran, and generally the outer pontoons are just storage, maybe not really usable space. And they have, but this whole thing is usable space. I mean, it's exactly that. That was. I mean, we have a Neil Forty Seven that has one cabin on the on the under the, the roof and two cabins on the Hamas. So this one was designed thinking about having all the access to the cabin from the uh, saloon. Yeah. Okay. It's a to have different options for our customers. Well, we are gonna take you on a little tour of it and we just made a deal. We're gonna go sail this thing in the Bahamas next month. So I'm pretty excited about it. <laughs> All right, let's take you on a tour. <laughs> so this is a 2022 Neil 43 foot trimaran. Uh, we kind of was talking to Alex earlier. It's kind of a different design concept for trimarans. Like we saw this boat in Annapolis, we're pretty impressed uh, with it. And uh, so I, I just like how it's one big deck everywhere. It's kind of single level and can get anywhere in the boat. It is three cabins. The uh, uh, kind of the, the design though is that like they're not all separate. They're all off the main salon. Um, if you do want privacy, you can close the shades and all that. So it's probably more of a you know a couple's boat, and then they can bring on friends occasionally, or maybe you have a kids or something like that. But it's yeah. But it's it's an interesting design. And then having the raised home station here to see everything. The way they got it set up, they've got you know uh, a staysail, the big Genoa, Genoa, and then they have a, a furling spinnaker, which is really nice. Uh, and then just you know you use the topping lift to lift the dinghy on on, on the back here, and just I mean I'm really impressed with the use of space on this. So uh, kind of take you inside and show you some stuff. So it's an interesting design. You have the main salon here. The galley is all kind of in one section. Uh, refrigerator on this side, and the two cabins, the main cabins. This is this is the master cabin over here. You just walk right through here. You do have a door that closes off for this cabin. On the other side would be the guest cabin. Um, there's no real door that closes, so that'd be kind of like just for you know. But you can close all the curtains to get more privacy. Uh, and then it does have a forward cabin that is definitely more private. So you can close this door and close it off, although the bed is a little bit smaller in there. Uh, it is only a single head, but it is a pretty large head. And then behind the head uh, is actually uh, like a, a wet locker. So you can like store your wetsuits and all that stuff right there. Uh, but I just really like the open concept on this. You're not, you don't get that on your standard trimarans. So down here in the cockpit, another open design. So the helm station's up here, so you can be at the helm and still kind of be in the action. I like how these doors open all the way, so it's just, it just feels like one continuous space coming from the salon and into the, uh, from the salon into the cockpit. Up here on the bow, you have your uh, separate trampolines here. You, have, you know, it's a trimaran, right? It's not a catamaran. Uh, so you have one hole here and then the two uh, holes on the side. The outer holes actually, they don't really have much draft, just a couple inches, right? Uh, unless you're heeled over. But, uh, you know, uh, so you have your staysail, your uh, big Genoa, and then your uh, uh, furling spinnaker up here, and all those lines run back to the cockpit. So really there's no need to come up here for anything. You can run it all from back there. Uh, a couple solar panels up here as well, but, uh, you know, patches, this is where, you know, you store your fenders and, uh, you know, uh, in, into the, you know, you control your windlass with the front pedals right there. So let's head back to the cockpit, and uh, we'd like to do a little bit more in depth. We will uh, later when we actually start sailing this thing, but it's kind of a busy boat show, so it's kind of hard to get in here and film. 
So here's your helm station. Like I said, all the lines come back here, uh, so you can handle everything from the cockpit. You know, you can be steering from the side and handle, have somebody else handling the lines. Uh, it does have a bow thruster, so it is a single motor, um, unlike a, ca a catamaran, which would have two, because it has just one motor in the hull. But it'll still still do seven and a half knots or so on the motor, and unlike a catamaran that has twin motors, right? Uh, it will help you kind of steer in tight places. This one does have a bow thruster since you only have uh, one motor. And then control all your engine instruments right here. Uh, you have uh, for your uh, chain counter and you can put the chain up and down from here. And then all your lines here on powered winches uh, that you control in these two buttons. There's a single line winch for the topping lift which is also used to bring up the dinghy and place it on its cradle. And there is actually a remote control for this so that you can be back there doing everything and you don't have to be pushing buttons up here. You can go down back there and be handling the dinghy. And, uh, but yeah, it's, I'm looking forward to sailing. This thing's pretty nice. So you never know what's going to happen at the boat show. All of a sudden we just come to see this boat again and they're like, we'd like to go sailing. Yeah. So I'm sure we are. So. And I'm excited because I love the Exumas and I love sailing. So I'm excited to do this. Yeah. and. Uh, We've actually been planning to, not planning to do this for a while, but we had, were in talks with them last yeah. year about maybe uh, taking this for a spin, but... Now it's happening. Now it's happening, so That's check, pretty us, cool. check us out on these Zoom ones. Yep. These Sun Reef yachts are pretty impressive. They're absolutely massive. 80-foot catamaran. This is the uh, power version, but then they have the sail version right next to it. It's massive. I mean, the, the freeboard on this thing is crazy. The sailing cat next to it's a 60. It's still huge. We're gonna stop in Genoa here because we're chartering with Navigar this summer a 60 Genoa. We walked through it the other day, but uh, we'll kind of give you just a quick walk through. We're not gonna do like a full and good tour. I'll just kind of. It's busy. The boat show's yeah. happening. I'm just gonna walk through with the camera. And I'll give you some voiceover out there. The transom on the Genoa 60 folds down to get access to the dinghy garage, and then you step up into the spacious cockpit. It has twin helms with chart plotters on each side, but only engine controls on one. Heading forward, there's a nice little sun pad for lounging. It has a staysail, a Genoa, and a setup for a furling spinnaker. There were people in the salon, so I skipped to the massive aft master cabin. There's a little lounge and an ensuite head. Skipping ahead of the salon are the two forward staterooms. There's a removable divider that slides right into the wall that gives you more space when you need it, and each stateroom has its own head. Forward of the port side head is access to the captain's cabin or the sail locker. Forward of the main salon is the galley with a decent sized refrigerator and plenty of space. After that is the main salon. There were people in it, so I couldn't really get a good video of it but it looks like a pretty comfortable space. Well, that's a wrap for us at the uh, Miami Boat Show. Woo! It's a hot, hot one today. It's a hot but one today, yeah. At least it's not raining today. But, I know. Good, but, get uh, some sun, and uh, now we're off to get something to eat, and yep. uh, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Please click that like and subscribe button, and we'll see you... Uh, we'll see you in Bahamas. Yeah, we'll be in the Bahamas soon.